four must-know Cubase features that will speed up your creativity so you can move at the speed of your ideas in Cubase. These are four features that are quick, easy to use, and available to all Cubase Pro users. And feature number four, I showed to a Cubase user of over 20 years, and he was blown away. He had no idea that this feature was available in Cubase at all. So let's get right into it. Feature number one is MIDI key commands. Key commands are Cubase's name for keyboard shortcuts. To use MIDI key commands, you would open up a MIDI region, and I'm sure there's certain key commands you're already familiar with, such as select all, which is command on a Mac, control on a PC, plus A. Copy, which is command on a Mac, control on a PC, plus C, and then paste, command or control, plus V. Now there's some key commands that you may not be familiar with that I wanna talk about. First one is a key command to copy, paste, and move a note all at once. So this would be option on a Mac, alt on a PC. You hover over the note you wanna duplicate, and you see that my pointer icon, when I do that key command of option or alt, it changes to this, whatever this icon is. It looks like scissors and a square. Then you click it, it duplicates it, and you can move it anywhere on the piano roll and anywhere within your region here. It's really nice to use to make chords. You can also use it on all of the notes. So let's say you just wanted to change up the rhythm, add extra notes after each one. The next key command is moving MIDI off the grid while snap to grid is activated. By default, I always have this on. It snaps to the grid relative to the quantize. When I move something, it moves to the nearest 16th note and it snaps right there. Sometimes I wanna move things ahead or behind the beat. And so I wanna be free of snap to grid, but only temporarily. So I use the key command of command on a Mac, control on a PC, and then I click and drag the note. Now you see I'm free of the grid without the key command activated, snapping. With it activated, it's sliding. So let's say I wanted to move everything behind the beat. I'd select all, hold my key command, and drag. The next key command is to change the note velocity. You would hold command on a Mac or control on a PC plus shift. And you hover over the MIDI note you wanna adjust the velocity of, and you see the pointer changes to the speaker icon. You click and drag up to increase velocity, click and drag down, to decrease the velocity. And again, you can use it all on all notes within the MIDI region at once. Another key command is quantize. So let's say I played this in real time and I'm so far behind the beat and I wanna quantize everything to the nearest 16th note here. You would select all the notes and then hit Q. Whatever notes are selected, it will quantize it to what your quantize is set to up here. Feature number two is custom key commands. When you have certain tasks you find yourself doing over and over again, you can customize your key commands shortcuts to speed up that task. For example, I comp a lot of audio. So I set up custom key commands to make the comp tool and the show lane button faster to get to. So let's set those up together right now. You come up to edit, key commands, and this shows you all of the key commands so you can expand all of the folders and just scroll through and become familiar with the key commands if you like. You can collapse all of them. So let's say I want to create show lanes. So I can just search it. It selects it here for me. And now when I come over to type in key, I click here. And now it's gonna remember exactly what I type. So I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna hit Control S. Then I go to assign. And now it's assigned this as a shortcut. So when I come back, and I do control S, it opens the lane. I don't have to come over, click, 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 click. It's very fast. Now let's say I have the comp tool as well. And let's assign it to two. You see when I bring up two, since it's already assigned to the range selection tool, it lets me know that. So when I go to assign, it also says, are you sure you wanna reassign two to this comp tool and I say yes. So now when I hit two, it changes to my comp tool. So now it's really easy to just be comping audio. If I want to get rid of those key commands, I would just come back. Let's say for show lanes, I don't want this anymore. I make sure it's selected over here and then hit this little trash can. Another useful feature for your custom key commands is setting up your presets. So again, this was the default was right here. So I have a user one. Cubase also comes with a couple different presets that you can explore here. You can also set up different presets based on the task you're doing. So maybe you want a certain set of key commands when you're producing versus when you're mixing. It's really useful. Feature number three is using the logical editor presets for your MIDI. So here I have a piano track and the velocity of every note 
is 90. And the position of every note is right on the one. No human being is playing every single note at the same time with the same velocity, the same pressure on the notes. So we're going to humanize this using two presets in the logical editor. So we're going to select these notes, come up to MIDI, logical editor, setup. And then we're going to look at presets and type in randomize. So first, let's randomize the position. Select that and hit apply. And you'll see now that all the notes have been moved a little bit before or behind the grid. As you watch the start up here, it'll let you know. Now there's sometimes where you hit apply and the note turns this white color here because that note has been moved to a position before the MIDI region. So either you come up to your project window and expand the region, or you just come down to this MIDI window and pull that note back into the region. Now let's select these notes again and randomize the velocity. So it's randomizing the velocity relative to the current velocity. So we're using 90 as our current velocity. With this parameter, it would change the dynamic range from 90 velocity to 80 to 100. So 10 below or 10 above. Let's say negative 20 to 20. So now the dynamic range of velocity would be negative 70 to 110. And let's apply this. And you can see down below here in this velocity, everything's more randomized. You also see it visually represented in colors. And then when I come up here, and you see as I scroll through the velocities are all changing up here. That's a fast way to humanize your MIDI parts. Now, feature number four is using the Mixer Quick Link. I'm excited to share this with you. If you open up your Mix Console, you hit Q Link. This is your Quick Link. When you hover over, it explains exactly what it does. It lets you temporarily link channels to sync up the changes you make from on one channel across all the selected channels. So let's say I want to make changes to these four acoustic guitar channels. I'd select this. I'm going to hold Shift and select. Activate Q link. Now any changes that I make to one happen to them all. So let's say I want to back this down 4 dB. These all go down 4 dB. Let's say I want to add Magneto as a plugin. They all get Magneto as a plugin. Bypass, back on, bypass, back on. Let's open up all of the Magnetos. Let's make changes to one of them. And you'll see it's happening for all four. Happening for all four of them, the knobs are changing. Let's remove the plugin. We can change our sends. Their sends activated. Let's deactivate them. Let's, let's get rid of them. Let's pan left, let's pan right. Like everything, any parameter you can change will be reflected across all of your selected channels. Now, when you're done making your changes, remember to deactivate the quick link. That's super important. Those are four must know Cubase features that will speed up your workflow. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. It's where I make a lot of Cubase content and I'll have more videos for you in the future. Also, if there's anything you wanna see, any video you wanna see on this channel, just leave me a comment down below. And thanks again.